the Richard Bradshaw Amphitheater is the, is the perfect place for this particular work to be premiered. And it's, it's, it is truly made for contemporary music. So I hope you like the work. Thanks very much. You don't have the score with you anymore. So you go as a composer and you sit down in the audience and, and you appreciate it as, as a listener would. And then what happens is it's, it, 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 it's, it's sort of you, you've, you've given it over and, and it becomes this different work because it's in the hands of these supreme artists and that can only enhance it, it can only make it better. So. As a composer, I have to wrestle with the fact that often people aren't going to hear my work more than once. And to a certain extent with contemporary composers, there's the expectation that they will in some fashion. There's so much potential richness in, in, in what we do. We write for orchestra, we write for string quartet, for instance. We're, we're part of a, a huge tradition that seems at times worlds away uh, from the contemporary world. And then it becomes this tricky thing because you have to, you have to be immediate so that somebody on one listen can, can take something away from the work. But then you have to be as well layered in that hopefully on repeated listenings that there are, there's more there. If I know the performers, if I know I'm writing for this particular string quartet, I know the way these performers play, I, it's like I imagine them playing the work and that somehow informs the musical ideas. Classical music is so um, it's so highly developed in terms of performance that is that all performers in classical music are expected to be supreme virtuosos. As a composer, I'm interested in what they have to say and, and that they should feel free to come to me and say, you know, this passage I like, this one I'm not sure it works so well, and what can we do about it? So the, the idea of collaboration.